hello guys welcome once again in this video i will show you how to take a screenshot of your desktop or your screen of your computer and uh, save it into different forms and also i will show you how to show your screenshot in uh, the jframe also so let's get started first of all go to your uh, swing containers and take a button which when we click it will take a screenshot and uh, I will also take a label from here which will hold my screenshot picture okay so this is a J label and just this is a button I will just change its text as capture image and I will remove the text of the label and now just double click your or right click your button and go to event action and action perform and in here we are going to write our code so first of all we will make a try catch block so here write this try catch block so try and in here catch exception ex and in the catch write j option pane dot show message dialog in the bracket null comma this ex so this will catch exceptions if any and in this try block now we will write a code so in here write this write rectangle and give it a variable name rectangle I have given it uh, the variable name screen rect is equal to new rectangle and in the bracket write toolkit dot get default toolkit bracket dot get screen size bracket and bracket closed and it's showing me some error so I will right click it and I will click fix import because it require some imports so let's see which import it require it requires java.awt.toolkit import so and all these other import it requires so I will just right click it and fix import and it fix my imports so write this line and in the next line write this line so write buffered image and give it a variable name to buffer image variable is equal to new robot bracket close dot create screen capture and in the bracket you will just pass this rectangle variable screen rect and this also showing some red lines so I will just right click and fix import if you want to know which import it needs just click this button and you will know which imports it requires so just right click and fix import and our import is fixed so write th this and in the next line we will write image icon and give it a variable name I am naming it icon itself is equal to new image icon once again and bracket and bracket close and in here we will pass our 
buffered image variables so just copy it and in this bracket just pass buffered image okay so what these three lines are doing is first of all we created a rectangle variable which takes the screenshot or which uh, holds the size of your screenshot so in the rectangle argument we are passing toolkit dot default toolkit dot get screenshot screen size so it will take the size of the screen and then in the next line we are creating a image buffered image variable which will contain the screenshot image so i am writing this robot dot create screen capture and in here i am passing the rectangle size or the size of my screen the next line is for showing this uh, buffer image into the label so we cannot directly transfer this uh, buffer image variable into the label which is uh, this label so we need to convert first this capture buffer image variable into an icon and then we can set this icon into the label so now just you need to copy the name of the label and in here below this image icon code just paste your label and dot set icon and you are just passing this image icon in here in these brackets okay so what it will do is it will take the screenshot and set it into this label so first of all let's see if this works or not so i'll right click and run file and here is my file so when i click my screenshot should come in the label so i click it and you can see the screen is bigger so that's why it's not coming full but when i stretch it or stretch like this it will come so this screenshot will come into my label now we will see how to save this image uh, into some folder or uh, and into some different files like jpg or png so just you need to write below your code this code just write this image io variable and if it shows some error just see which error it shows and just it showing fix import so right click and fix import once again dot right and in here we will pass some arguments so first argument will be the same the buffered image variable so this contains our image so just copy this and pass it here in the first place and this second argument is for the type of image you want so for example i want png image so i will write png just like that and in the third argument we will pass the path of the folder in which we want to save it so just write instead of null new file sorry file and in the bracket write these and in here we will pass the path of our file 
so once again it needs some imports so I will right click it and fix import so it requires Java IO file okay and in here you, we will pass the path of the folder so for example I want to show my image or save my image on the desktop itself so I will give the path of the desktop and if it shows some error lines so just give double slashes here and after your desktop you just give the name of the file or name of the picture so I will name my picture as screen shot dot png because my file is png okay so just write this and now when you run the program run and when I click this capture image it shows the image into this label also and when I see my desktop it has captured the image here also on the desktop okay so in this way you can take the screenshot your, of your screen and you can show it into the label and you can save it into the folder in different format also so I, I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new this time so please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now